We expect fireworks in our main event tonight. Andrew Maloney and Joshua Franco battling it out for 12 rounds. I think both men think they, they got the fight. I think Maloney thinks that he went in enough in the early rounds. Robert Garcia is saying to uh, his charge, you're a world champion, man. He feels that his fighter did enough in the second half or the middle rounds to the second half of this fight to win himself a world title. We will see what the judges have to say. And new WBA super flyweight champion of the world, Joshua El Profesor Franco. It's it's very it's hard for me to describe what happened in that first fight. I I feel like I it just I didn't fight how I normally do. I don't know what it was. I just wasn't performing at that at that moment. That just made me so determined to, to come back and to show everyone that I'm much better than that and I can perform and compete at the world level. This trip will make it seven months away from my family. Uh, I've got a young boy, a lot of time away from him. My wife Chelsea has been extremely supportive of me and, and my boxing career. It's been a, a huge sacrifice for her and, and um, but she's such a great mum and hasn't complained once and just supported me every step of the way. Coming home with that belt will make all these sacrifices worth it. That's what motivates me every day to, to train hard and make sure that I do come home with that world title. Yeah! That's it. Now you hear the celebration from uh, Andrew Maloney. Doctor they, agreed that he cannot continue they, they, due to the accidental headbutt. That is a no decision. That is correct. Now listen, Russell Mora is saying this will be a no decision. Russell Mora is saying that there was an accidental clash of heads. I will tell you right now that our veteran crew in the production truck has scoured the tape of round number one. They did not see a clash of heads. They saw two punches that landed on the right eye. According to the video that we have in our production truck, this should be a TKO victory and a reclaiming of the title for Andrew Maloney. His team's talking shit, telling me about the last fight, how much he beat me. Last fights in the past, tonight he did not touch me. And that eye was closed by 50 jabs. I seen it, I hit him with a jab early in the first round and I seen a little lump and I went straight after him. I hit it another 50 times. That's why his eyes shut. I can't believe that they took this away from me. I've, I've trained my ass off the last five months, been away from my family, and they just take it away from me like this. So I could only know how he can carry that belt around and call himself a champion. I'm the champion devastating um, and just something that shouldn't happen with the technology that there is in today's age. Um, they had instant replay working in Nevada and they used the instant replay and looked over the footage for 28 minutes and, and still made the wrong call. So it just shouldn't happen. I put so much into that second fight. It would have been just such a special thing for me to, to get that win and to get back my world title and, and prove to everyone what I'm capable of, but they took it away from me. Look at the right eye of Franco. It is not swollen shut there. The jab comes in flush on that right eye. Absolutely flush. That's what caused the swelling. Immediate swelling right there. Immediately, Immediately you see the swelling happening. It was absolutely not a clash of heads. And if you can't clearly see that, something is wrong with you. It's ridiculous. There's definitely anger there. He knows there was no head clash. He knows it was a jab. It only took me two rounds to, to bust him up last time, so I'm very confident I can do it again. There's a lot of people that do think it was corrupt, but I hope for the boxing's sake that it was just incompetence. The positive obviously is that there's gonna be a lot of eyeballs on this next fight. Um, it was sort of worldwide news after after the last fight and received a lot of attention. So no doubt this, this trilogy fight is gonna have a lot more eyeballs. They had a lot to say immediately after the fight. Um, the team did, but Franco had nothing to say. You could see from his facial expression that he knew there was no head clash and he was quite embarrassed about the whole situation, but just to hold his head down in, in embarrassment, I'm expecting him to be very determined in this fight. It's gonna be a great fight, but I'm very confident I'll come out on top. It's like they've lit a fire inside of me. I'm even 10 times more determined now, and I've used this last eight months to train as hard as I can and improve as much as possible in that time, and I feel like I have really done that. I feel like I've gone to a whole new level, and I believe that this is gonna be the best performance of my career. I was robbed of what should have been mine, and over the last eight months, I've, I've thought about that every single day, and it just used it as motivation to train as hard as possible and do absolutely everything I can to make sure that that doesn't happen this time around, and I come home with that world title around my waist.